Well, new on AMX for this morning, the Greater Vancouver Chamber is an inclusive and innovative provider that helps businesses and community leaders thrive. Now, recently, the Chamber highlighted exceptional individuals and businesses at the 2023 Business and Leadership Awards. And here to tell us more about Greater Vancouver Chamber is uh, Janet Konefsky. She's the Vice President of Membership and Operations at the Greater Vancouver Chamber. And she joins us live here in studio. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you. Yeah. Nice yeah. Thanks. Yeah, tell me uh, what's the goal behind the Greater Vancouver Chamber Awards? What are you trying to do there? Uh, basically, we're trying to lift up community, lift up businesses, and give them a platform in order for companies um, to get their brand and awareness out there. That's one of the things the Chamber does really well, is we provide a platform, not on Litecoin here, uh, for our companies to really celebrate each other. So while we celebrate companies, we also partner with organizations that step up to the to say we want to support those small businesses, growing businesses, businesses doing really good things in the community that need to be recognized and maybe even set the gold bar standard so others can can participate. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Well, what's a good example? Who who's a who's a winner? You know, who's a past okay. winner? Like, like how, how can we kind of whittle down exactly what mm -hmm. sort of businesses you're you're helping here? Okay, so we represent everybody from small mom and pops to large corporations. So the Business and Leadership Awards has five different categories, and one of them in particular is a startup to watch. We want to recognize those companies that are in their first five years, really, um, you know, grinding it out, making their name, um, starting their business from scratch, where we can celebrate and support their little wins. Um, OMW Marketplace was the winner this year, and it was really fantastic. They're a little marketplace on the on the way, on my way, OMW oh. Marketplace. So if you go to an event or something and you need that avocado or a little baguette, you can get it on your way. Um, we also had the small business, and that's 25 employees full-time employees or less and that was this year the winner was um when the shoe fits. Uh -huh. They have four different locations and that is an organization that went above and beyond. So when you look at what happened during the pandemic, not a lot of people were buying shoes, right? We mm. traded our slippers for um, and put on slippers instead of shoes. And right. so uh, this particular organization, Alan and Amy O'Hara, went above and beyond and they had a lot of extra inventory. They donated it to one of our largest uh, nonprofit organizations, tens of thousands of dollars oh, worth of shoes wow. to some of those um, who were the most vulnerable and in need. So really great things happening in the community and, and companies just wanting to give back. Um, one in particular, which we um, we highlighted pretty pretty significantly, is our what we call our. Um, uh, we have a state's person of the year, so we want to make sure that we're recognizing those elected officials that really do something in the community for us. It's important that when an elected official actually navigates um, a complex territory of supporting business and community. Mm that we make sure that we recognize them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just amazing time to be able to celebrate. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. just talk a little bit about uh, just the business climate mm -hmm. in Vancouver in general. You know, we, we talk about the Vancouver waterfront all the yeah. time. We yeah. love it. Booming, expanding, uh, yeah. But just talk about the, the overall climate for mm -hmm. uh, the economy and business yeah. in Vancouver. Um, climate is great. Support is great. Community, we do. We love our, our waterfront. We are extremely proud of our waterfront. And I know we talked about that on Monday with Mayor Ann. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we have is we have a really vibrant community all throughout Southwest Washington. Mm -hmm. I would encourage people, obviously, go check out the waterfront. There's nothing like it, not even in the, in the Pacific Northwest. But we do have some amazing communities that show up and rally support, have a thriving economy, businesses, restaurants, um, from downtown Camas and Washougal to Battle Battleground, um, Washington, and Ridgefield. Anybody can make a day out of it and really see a thriving, thriving Southwest Washington. So there are some issues, of course, still finding workforce, but that's what the Chamber is here for. We're, we're in it for the long game, and we really try and work with our programming and resources um, and working with our policymakers so that the Travis and Ken of today, who's visiting our waterfront in Southwest <laughs> Washington, have 10 years from now equally as good of, of an opportunity to visit Southwest Washington and, and um, find it equally as vibrant. Yeah, Love you talk so. about, uh, you know, some of the other communities in, in Clark County that we... You know that we don't always go to, but I, I love the uh, downtown Camas too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Camas, that that's you won't be great... disappointed if you spend a day in any one of our little um, main streets around Clark County. It's really true. Yeah. Yeah. It's really true. Well, yeah. Janet, great to have you in here. Thank appreciate you. all the work you're doing. It's Thank great you. to see these local businesses elevated through that work. Absolutely. So appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. And again, to learn more about the Greater Vancouver Chamber and its Business and Leadership Awards, you can go to our website. That's coin.com.